What I'm gonna do is show you guys how to install the FlexBeat player presets that we created or just how to install FlexBeat player presets so that you can use them inside of your MPC Live X1 and all that other stuff. So for the MPC one, you will have to use a SD card. So make sure that you have an SD card. I'm pretty sure you know how SD card looks like. For the MPC Live and all the other ones, you can just hook it up to your computer because you can access and host your SD card slot and your hard drive that you can put inside of those machines. So it's pretty easy. So the first thing you need to do is just turn on your MPC. Make sure that your MPC is plugged up to your computer. So all the MPCs outside of the MPC one, you can do this. So just go into an empty project. When you turn on your MPC, make sure that you hit the menu button so you have access to the MPC controller mode right here. So at the top right of the screen, you see the words MPC on a microchip, hit that then go into controller mode. Once controller mode is activated, then it will say looking for computer. Just leave it like that. Your SD card will pop up on your computer by default. Go to the appropriate folder. Just go ahead and make a new folder and title it Flex Beat Presets. And once you're done, hit enter. Then you'll take the presets, drag it and drop it into that folder. Once it transfers over, then you'll see it in that folder and then you can just close that folder. Once that is done, make sure that you do this right here. Take it out of controller mode. You can take out the USB cable if you want. You know, you're fine, good to go. Just open up an empty project. And then we're gonna test it out on some loops here. So I'll just go ahead and go to places. I'll go to Tritendo, but then you will see FlexBeat presets. You'll see array, NPC presets, and then you'll see all the banks right in front of you. Let's go ahead and grab a sample. Mm. Don't sleep on these. You just go ahead and hit the eyeball sign, pull up flex beat, and then we're gonna go into a track, and then we'll go into harmonics there, and you will see it under flex beat player. So once you pull it up, hit the pencil sign, and then you will pull up your presets by hitting this folder sign. From the folder sign, you will just go to your respected drive that has your folder that says FlexBeat presets. And from here, from FlexBeat presets, you see arrays, you see MPC presets, and then you see we have eight banks. So let's go into Ascension, which is the first one, and then let's test it out. Now, let's go ahead and hear some of the effects. Mm-hmm. All right, let's keep on going. Uh, we don't be playing. So now that we have flex beat inside of the MPC, I think it will be appropriate to finally do what we needs to do 
on the MPC, and that's making some of that crazy space age trap shit that I miss doing in FL Studio, but now I can do it on the MPC, and so can you. So the sample I'm using is linked in the description box. It is called Adame. It is made by sound creators. Big shout out to Ocean View. Don't sleep on this sound design. That is my bro for a reason. Now let's go ahead and go into 16 levels. When you go into 16 levels, make sure it's on tune because you have different options here, velocity to tune. If you do this right here, where it says original pad, you can go and tune it all the way down so your hi-hats are tuned all the way down. Then you can just practice it. I got it on T, which means triplets. All right, make sure that you reset it back. Then turn off note repeat. Make sure that 16 levels is turned off. Now that we have these hi-hats here in this track, what we're gonna do is make sure that we select the hi-hats and we're gonna go to this track right here with it where it says program. So you have access to that. And now we're gonna grab a flex beat. Flex beat player, if I can actually say it right. And then, of course, you can just mess with hi-hats. And of course, I'm gonna use the shit that we created, Array, because why would I not? And let's test them out on hi-hats. Let's go into, I think Mood Rings is stupid. Now with hi-hats, dry wet is better use the dry wet to kind of keep the the dry over the wet of course the dry signal over the wet signal and if you have weird shit you get weird shit so i'm gonna go into the drums this is another thing too when you're messing with flex beat like if you have a kick drum Let's go ahead and get this kick drum right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a flex beat on that. Let's see if we can test the limits of flex beat on here. I don't know how many you can open, but hey. I will just go ahead and into the turntable. I'll use something on here stock. basically to do automation or whatnot i'm in the drum track so i want to do that seldomly so from here you know you see where it says velocity you'll go over here to add new and then you'll go into i believe pad one and then pad one flex beat and then i'm going to go ahead and select dry wet and i believe that will do it And this is dictated by, I hate that. When you're drawing, you get, I got fat fingers. I'm gonna go ahead, you can, I'm gonna set the grid though to something lower, like one eighth. So I'm not drawing nothing crazy. And sometimes you might have to tighten it up. Like uh, you can always go back out and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get back into the flex beat player and see if I can get a better scratch pattern. Yeah, I gotta bring in the automation a little earlier. Yeah. 